Are you ready to furnish your Airbnb and you don't know where to start when it comes to spending on the right items and saving on those other items? Well, this video is for you. My name is Laura and I am an Airbnb host and real estate investor and I'm showing you everything that you need to know to build wealth through short-term rentals. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about a really important subject, which is furnishing your Airbnb and not just furnishing overall, but understanding where it makes sense to spend a little money on a higher quality item and where you can save on items that guests aren't gonna be using all that much. And I'm gonna do that by going room by room to show you where you can spend and where you can save. And then I'll talk about how you can determine a ballpark figure for furnishing your entire Airbnb. And then I'm gonna finish up by talking about the specific stores where I buy items for each of the rooms in my Airbnb. So you wanna stay tuned to the very end of the video to get that information. Let's start in perhaps the most important room in any of your Airbnbs, and that is the bedroom. This is the room where guests are gonna be spending the majority of their time in your Airbnb, and you want them to be comfortable. And where you're never gonna please everybody because people like different things, um, when it, especially when it comes to their mattresses and pillows. I do think that you can get items that are gonna please enough of your guests most of the time that you will be getting five-star reviews. And the bedroom, surprisingly, is one area where I think that you can save and you do not need to spend a lot of money. I have found great options for a bed frame, exceptional options for a mattress, as well as blankets and linens, all of which are very economical. They do not break the bank and they're incredibly comfortable and durable. Don't spend a lot of money on your bed and mattress, but don't cheap out and not get enough furniture for your bedroom. It is really important that guests have side tables with lamps in the bedroom so that they can see at night and they can put their devices and plug them in overnight. And you also want to have furniture or other items where guests can put their clothing. So you don't want to cheap out and not get things like luggage racks, not get hangers and not get dressers. Now, again, you don't have to spend a ton of money on these, but you do want to fully outfit your bedroom so that it is comfortable for your guests. So I think you can save in the bedroom and spend that money elsewhere. All right, next let's talk about the living room. This is the next area where your guests are gonna be spending a lot of time. It's also an area where guests are going to have lots of traffic, lots of people in and out, and there are gonna be some items that guests are gonna be interacting with quite a bit, and you want them to be of high quality and very sturdy. So the first item is the couch. Do not cheap out here. Do not buy something super inexpensive from a discount retailer or an online store because an item like a couch that is made very cheaply is going to break on you. And the last thing that you wanna have to do is to get rid of a broken couch, buy a new couch, put that in. You're gonna have to shut down your Airbnb for a day. You're likely gonna have to pay somebody to do this work for you because you're not gonna be the one to do it. Take my advice and spend adequately here. You don't need to break the bank but I do think that you should expect to spend about $2,000 for a three-seater couch. Also, like the bedroom, you want to buy other items so that it is fully furnished. Don't cheap out here, so you'll need side tables for your couch, you'll need a coffee table. I don't think you need to break the bank on those items necessarily, but I wouldn't buy options uh, for those tables that are too cheap, that you have to assemble, that are made not of not of real wood. I think you wanna you wanna spend a little bit to get higher quality items because, like I said, they're gonna see a lot of traffic. But I do think that you can save and get sort of a medium range option rather than something super expensive. One place where I would save, and there's a specific type of item that I would buy here, is for the rug in your living room. This piece of furnishing is going to see a lot of traffic. It is going to get dirty. It is going to see spills. It is going to have luggage rolled over it um, pretty frequently. So it's gonna have to see a lot of wear and tear and be able to withstand that. So I don't recommend light colors for your rugs. I also recommend getting something like a jute rug, a natural fiber rug, because that's made to look kind of rustic and kind of the, the more tattered it gets, actually the better it looks. It doesn't show a lot of dirt and it goes with lots of different types of decor. So I think a jute, natural jute rug is a really great option. If that doesn't go with your decor, then like a dark, synthetic rug I think would be the next best option, but definitely avoid 
light colors and natural fibers of a rug because that's going to have to be replaced pretty often. Let's move on to another room in your Airbnb, which is super important, the kitchen. Now, before I get into the kitchen, think about one of the main reasons why guests choose an Airbnb over a hotel. It's because they get access to an entire home and that includes the kitchen. An Airbnb allows guests to cook a full meal and almost feel like they are at home, which is why in your kitchen, you're going to want to spend here. Now you don't have to get super expensive items everywhere, but you do have to get a good number of items and, and some of them do have to be high quality. So the kitchen is where you're gonna spend a good chunk of your budget. Now, I think that you are gonna need certain items like pots and pans that are gonna have to be of high quality. You don't have to break the bank here, but I do think spending a couple hundred dollars on a good non-stick set of pots and pans that have lids is going to go a really long way toward making your guests happy. Another area where you want sturdy items is going to be in the kitchen cooking utensils and things like knives and wine bottle opener. Make sure that those are of good quality, that they work all the time, that they're not gonna break on you or worse, your guests when they're using them. Another item that I think you're gonna to want to spend a little bit on, and you, again, you don't have to break the bank here, but get something of decent quality, and that is in your coffee maker. Whether you choose to get a traditional programmable coffee maker or something else like a French press or a pour over carafe, you'll wanna get something that is going to stand the test of time and I do, out of all three options, I recommend getting either a French press or one of those pour over carafes, and that's because they are much easier to clean. You know, sometimes if your cleaner misses cleaning out an old used coffee filter, for example, then a guest is gonna find, you know, something used and it's not gonna be clean, and then they're gonna wonder, is the rest of this place clean? So leave the guesswork out of it. Get a, a coffee carafe, pour over carafe, or a French press, and these also have the benefit of being um, kind of luxurious items, even though they're not super expensive, they provide for a luxurious experience. So I do think that they add just a little bit of class to uh, your kitchen experience. The other items that um, you're gonna need to buy, but I think you can save on are things like plates, eating utensils, kitchen towels, because especially those are gonna be used and washed quite frequently. You're gonna have to replace them uh, pretty often anyway, so you don't need to break the bank on those. Okay, so those are the items where I think you can spend and where you can save in each of those rooms. Let's talk about your budget. So costs are gonna vary to furnish um, your Airbnb depending on the size and depending on the type of stay that you're providing. So size, that's just simple square feet. How, how big is the home? But type of stay, there are essentially three types. The first is a budget stay, and this is going to have a lower average nightly rate. And this is going to encourage, you know, guests who uh, want to spend less on their travel and they're they're there for typically you know short amounts of time or even long amounts of time, and they just want a budget stay. Mid range, you know, you're not the cheapest place, you're not the most expensive, but you're right in the middle of the pack. And then a luxury stay you are looking for those guests who really want an enhanced experience at an Airbnb. So the budget is going to vary as follows. For a budget stay, you want to use a figure of $15 per square foot. For a mid-range stay, I would say about 20 or even $25 per square foot. And then for a luxury stay, anywhere from 25 to 30 or even more per square foot. So from there, it's just simple math, multiply the square footage times the type of stay. Um, the price range for the type of stay, and that will give you a good ballpark figure for what you can expect to spend to furnish the interior only of your Airbnb. And this would exclude any exterior places, but this would include the spending for all of those items that I discussed, plus anything else. This should fully outfit your Airbnb. All right, so now that you know where to spend and where to save, and you've got a good ballpark figure for furnishing, where to buy these things. Let's go room by room. So the bedroom, I think that your mattress as well as bed frame, these are great to buy from Amazon. They've got a wide variety variety of products available and it can be a little difficult to know what's high quality and not so I've done that guesswork for you and the bed frame that I like to use for a queen size is by Aloe and it is their gold bed frame. It looks beautiful with any type of decor. It is super sturdy it is quiet and easy to put together. The bed frame is one of the items in all of my Airbnbs that gets 
really rave reviews from guests. They absolutely love it. They asked me where I got it. And surprisingly, it's super inexpensive. It only costs about $150 as of the time of this video. So it's a very economical choice. Now for mattress, again, Amazon. I, I think it, Amazon has great options. And the one that I use is the Zinus, Z-I-N-U-S, eight inch queen memory foam mattress. I think it's like the green tea memory foam. Now make sure that you get the eight inch because that mattress is a little more plush and soft. Whereas the 10 inch and the 12 inch are a lot firmer and frankly are just not comfortable. I accidentally bought a 10 inch for I think one or two of my Airbnbs and I don't like it. Get the eight inch. I also get um, a mattress cover as well as a mattress pad from Amazon. However, for the mattress pad, I'm really contemplating getting the memory foam that's available currently at Costco. For the side tables and dressers, I think it's fine to get online options. The side tables that I use are, are from Article and they're about $200 a piece. And then the dresser is just a, a, an online retailer and it was the type that I had to put together, but it is pretty sturdy, it's real wood. Um, now let's move on to the next room, the living room. All right, so where I recommend shopping for your big ticket items for your living room, that would be your couch, and side tables, as well as your coffee table is Article. Uh, these items are made in the USA. They're a great price point. They're not super inexpensive, but they're not super expensive. They're right in the middle. I buy their tan leather three-seater sofa in, in many of my Airbnbs, and that costs uh, just under $2,000. It's super sturdy. It's beautiful. It actually looks better the more wear and tear it has because it just ages beautifully. So I really highly recommend that couch. And you can shop for those items like the, the couch and, and the side tables and coffee tables during holiday sales and you can typically find something for about 30% off which is a pretty good deal and I'm happy to link the specific items down below of, of the ones that I have purchased. I've even purchased a two-seater couch from Article and I got it on sale it was $750 and it is absolutely gorgeous super comfortable and really modern look and it goes with lots of different types of decor so Article absolutely. For the accessory items like decor items as well as as the rug, I really recommend getting that locally and not online, especially the rug, because if you don't like the rug or it just doesn't work, having to return a rug online is a nightmare because it's big, it's unwieldy, how do you ship it? Just get that in person and get it from HomeGoods. HomeGoods has really great economical options. You can often find really great options on sale at HomeGoods. So that is a really great retailer to get your rugs as well as the additional decor. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen. The kitchen is one of those places where I think it's really tempting to buy from Amazon because of the convenience and you get so many options from Amazon, but I don't recommend it. And that's because a lot of times the quality of the items of kitchen items specifically tend to be really Really low in my opinion and I think you have a far better option in Costco. Costco sells everything that you need for a kitchen. Pots and pans, plates, cooking utensils, eating utensils, kitchen towels, kettles, coffee makers, knife blocks, cutting boards, all of the storage containers. Everything that you would need for your kitchen you can get it at Costco and you can get a great price on these items and you can get really high quality items because they've done the quality testing for you and it has passed their test. And, and I am so very happy with all of the items that I've ever gotten at Costco. Costco is also the place where I get my linens as well. So for my bedroom, all my sheets I get from Costco. For the bathroom, I also get all of my towels. I get a six pack of towels for $27.99 and you really can't beat it, especially because towels are one of those things that magically grow legs and then they walk away from your Airbnb. So you're gonna have to be replacing your towels quite often. So don't break the bank there. That is all that I have for you in terms of where to spend and where to save, how to budget, and where to buy these specific items. In the next video, I'm going to go over what is the most important piece of research to do before launching your Airbnb business. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.